Welcome to Now in Android, episode number 52. After two episodes recapping what happened in the Android Dev Summit, now it's time to go back to our usual format. Actually, one last thing about the Android Dev Summit is that during that time, we reached 1 million subscribers on our Android Developers YouTube channel. Thank you everyone for following the Now in Android series and everything our channel has to offer. Okay, a lot of math skills episodes were published during this time. The series on paging is already finished. In the third episode, TJ shows different operations that can be performed with paging. Transformations like inserting separators, when to create a new pager, and customization options for consuming paging data. In the following video, Eric Suo from the Android community shares a paging tip with you. And to finish the series, TJ and Dustin answered your questions in the USOL live Q&A. After paging, a new math skill series started, this time about Gradle. As an introduction, Murat talks about the series and everything you will learn in it. In the first episode, Murat explains how the Android build system works and how to configure your build. In the second episode, you will learn how to extend your build by writing your own plugin. And lastly, in the third episode, you will take your plugin a step further and learn how to get access to various build artifacts using the new Artifact API. Since the last non-ADS Now in Android episode, a lot of Android X libraries were promoted to stable. For example, App Compact, Activity, and Fragment are now in 1.4. Fragment, for example, brings stable support for multiple backstacks. Also stable is Emoji 2, that brings support for modern emojis. Lifecycle 2.4, which introduces the repeat on lifecycle and flow with lifecycle, lifecycle aware coroutine APIs. Paging 3.1, that brings some behavior changes to load state. And the Word Tiles library, with which you can build custom tiles for Wear OS devices. All of these are stable already. In alpha, you can find the new Jetpack Media 3 library. Media 3 is a collection of support libraries for media playback, including ExoPlayer. There is an article about this that explains why the team created Media 3, what it contains, and how it can simplify your app architecture. OK, more articles. Megan wrote about the new Emoji 2 library. You can read more about the problem with emojis and how the Emoji 2 library can help you out. The CameraX library got a new article again. This time it's about a new feature to convert YUV, the format that CameraX produces, to RGB, used for image analysis capabilities available in TensorFlow Lite, for example. Read the blog post for more information about these formats and how to use the new conversion feature. Improving app startup time is not a trivial task and requires a deep understanding of things that affect it. This year, the Android team and the Facebook app team have been working together on metrics and sharing approaches to improve app startup. Read more about the findings in that blog post. The accessibility video series continues on with more information on how to create custom accessibility actions to make your apps more accessible. In the episode, you can provide a custom action to the accessibility services and implement logic related to the action. There is also another episode where you can learn more about the State Description API, when to use State Description and Content Description, and how to represent error states to the end user. Changing topics, if you're interested in Wear OS and Jetpack Compose, the team released a new Compose for Wear OS CodeLab. In there, you can learn how Wear OS can work with Compose, what Wear OS specific composables are available, and more. Lastly, a new episode of the ADB podcast is out. In episode 178, Chet, Roman, and Tor sit down to chat about the Android Developer Summit, and in particular, all the new features arriving in Android Studio, along with a few other topics like Chet's new Junk Stats library, the Android 12L release, and more. And that's it for this time. You can find all the links to the content I mentioned in the Now in Android episode 52 blog post in Medium. 
To get notified about future episodes, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Android Developers YouTube channel. Bye!